Hello, my friends. Hello, and welcome back to Pensano Inglés. Today, today I am going to tell you in a nice, easy, intermediate English about the worst dog to ever live. The worst. The worst dog that ever lived, okay? This dog, well, her breed, or oh, raza, her breed was a beagle. Okay, and a beagle is the dog that was on the thumbnail or miniatura of this video. That's a beagle, okay? Jasmine was her name, and Jasmine was a beagle. Jasmine was an awful, terrible dog, okay? In this video, I'm going to tell you about the worst dog who ever lived, and I'm going to tell you why she was a terrible dog. So I think we got Jasmine probably when I was like 12 maybe, 12 or 13 years old. We got Jasmine, the worst dog ever. And we already had a dog, okay? We already had a dog. His name was Rusty and he was a wonderful, loving, kind, good dog, okay? Rusty was the best. Rusty was an awesome part of my, my childhood, okay? Rusty was an incredible dog. And matter of fact, maybe I should make a video about the best dog because Rusty was great. Yeah, you know what? I think I will make a video about the best dog ever later. But that just came to me now. So let's first talk about Jasmine, the worst dog. Now the first reason why Jasmine was a terrible, terrible dog is because she was mean. She was mean to the good dog, okay? Rusty was a great dog. He never was mean to anybody, but Jasmine was mean to him. She would bite him. She would attack him. Rusty was scared of her because every time he got near her, she would bite him. If he went by the food bowl, she would bite him. We would all just be relaxing, and then all of a sudden you hear, rah, 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 and we knew that it was Jasmine attacking Rusty. We would hear that, and then we would see Rusty run away. So, that was the first reason, is because Jasmine attacked the good dog, okay? And then years and years, years later, um, when I was already grown up, okay? I was already grown up, but I was staying with my, my parents at the time. I got Oreo, who was a good dog. Some of you guys have seen Oreo before, okay? And when Oreo was a puppy, Jasmine was still alive, okay? And Jasmine would try and be mean to Oreo just like she was with Rusty, okay? Jasmine attacked Oreo several times. She would bite her, and Oreo was just a sweet, nice puppy. So she would just run away. She didn't want to fight. She was a good dog. And then one day, when Oreo got bigger, Oreo was much bigger than Jasmine, and finally, Oreo got tired of it, okay? Jasmine tried to bite Oreo, and Oreo attacked Jasmine. All right, Oreo bit Jasmine on her ear because beagles have big, floppy ears, and she would not let go. And then I heard Jasmine screaming, and Oreo would not let go. The only way I could get let, ah, sorry guys. The only way I could get Oreo to let go is by putting my thumb in her eye. I poked her, I poked her in her eyeball and she let go, okay? So in order to save Jasmine, I had to poke my own dog in her eye to make her let go. And I only did that because my dad was screaming. I remember my dad screaming, oh, she's gonna kill her, she's gonna kill her. <laughs> Funny times, guys. I've got a lot of crazy stories that I could tell if I really thought of it. All right, that was reason number one. Jasmine was the worst dog ever because she was mean to, go to good dogs, okay? The other dogs were great dogs and Jasmine was mean to them. That's reason number one. Reason number two is because Jasmine, the only thing she cared about was food. All she cared about was food. 
she didn't love anybody she didn't love anything she didn't like to do things she didn't have hobbies she didn't like to play all she wanted in this whole life is food okay and she didn't care what happened she didn't care what she had to do to get it she would steal your food in a second okay if you leave food sitting out in the kitchen she would be jumping up trying to climb up on top of the table to steal your food okay and it didn't matter you could catch her and hit her she did not care she just wanted to eat the food all right it was terrible and one time when my family was going through a really hard time okay uh, my dad lost his job we didn't have money so we really never got to eat good food but for some reason this one day we were able to buy some food from uh, a pizza place okay and I got some chicken wings I really wanted some chicken wings we never ate good food at that time all right we were never eating good stuff so I was so excited for these chicken wings so I had the chicken wings I turned around to go get some food to our to go get something to drink Jasmine ran in the room and was eating all the chicken wings guys these are alas con huesos and this dog was eating them bones and everything I was furious at that dog I think I punched her I think I punched her guys because I was so mad I was so excited for these chicken wings and she stole them from me and now that I think of her eating those bones I could think of another story about Jasmine so there's one time when she cost our family a lot of money and you guys know that if you buy a piece of ham okay jamon there's a little bone in it okay un huesito Jasmine stole some ham or maybe she went into the garbage and just ate the bone I don't remember but either way she ate this bone okay and it got stuck in her stomach this bone this ham bone got stuck in her stomach okay and it was causing her a lot of problems we took her to the vet and the vet is a doctor for animals and they said we have two options two options you can put her down which means to kill her it means they'll give her a little shot and she will die or they could do an operation they can cut into her stomach and remove the bone those were our two options either we put her down or kill her or they do an operation and the operation was expensive and it was not a good time for my family uh, you know my dad didn't have any money like that but he loved that dog so much for some reason he found a way to get her the operation and it cost us a lot of money I remember Jasmine had a scar cicatriz she had a scar on her stomach after that operation. <laughs> Terrible dog, guys. Terrible dog. But my dad loved her so much, I don't know why. No idea why. So, that's another thing. She would steal your food in a second. And guys, let me tell you. Oreo, my dog, uh, she would not steal food ever I could leave a plate of ribs costillas barbecue ribs laying out I would look at her and say Oreo no guys I, I did this before on purpose just to show how how loyal and good she was and she would not touch them because she was loyal to me she was a good dog and she listened to me Jasmine was a terrible dog she was evil and she did not listen to anybody and it's crazy because my dad loved her so much, but she did not care about my dad at all. She only cared about the food that he would give her. <laughs> all right, guys, another reason why Jasmine was a terrible, terrible dog. You know, most dogs, you could just let them outside. 
let them outside, they'll go to the bathroom. You know, you don't have to sit there and watch them. Let them outside and sometimes they'll bark, roof, roof, when they're ready to come back inside, okay? Jasmine, you could not just let her outside and let her go to the bathroom. You had to sit and watch her because she did something disgusting, asqueroso. She would do something disgusting when you put her outside. She would eat um, 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 her own poop. Ugh. Comer su propio popo. Okay, you could not just put Jasmine outside because for some reason she liked to eat her own poop. Now maybe you're thinking, who cares? Let her do it. Well, the problem is then if you let her inside, you've got a dog running around with poop mouth. And you don't want that, because then if she licks you, or you know, she's drooling on the furniture or something. <sighs> disgusting, disgusting, evil, terrible dog. All right guys, so that's why Jasmine was the worst dog to ever live. Number one, she was mean, to good dogs. Number two, she would steal food always. She only cared about food and she cost us a lot of money when she stole that bone. Number three, she would eat her own poop. So she was disgusting and stupid. All right, that's the story of the dumbest, worst, most evil dog who ever lived. All right. Como siempre, mis amigos queridos, muchísimas gracias por ver. Nos vemos pronto. Are you still there? Are you still there, my friend? Are you one of the loyal subscribers who watches my videos to the very end? Well, here's a little bit of bonus English for you. I saved a very funny story. Very funny story about Jasmine just for you guys who are loyal and stick around to the very end. <laughs> Do you know what a marker is? Well, there's a brand of markers called Sharpies, okay? I'm positive they have them in your country. I just don't know if you guys call them Sharpies or if you just say markers, marcadores, I don't know. We just call them Sharpies, okay? And a Sharpie, you can write on anything. So my sister and I one day when we were younger, we did something really funny to Jasmine with a Sharpie, okay? <laughs> I don't remember why, but we took a Sharpie and we drew eyebrows. We drew eyebrows on Jasmine, big old eyebrows. And it was the funniest thing ever, guys. It was hilarious. Jasmine looked so funny because we drew the eyebrows up high. She looked surprised. She looked so surprised. Guys, it was so funny. Hilarious. We were like, what happened, Jasmine? Why do you look so surprised? And then we showed my mom and my mom got really mad at us. But it was worth it because it was so, so funny, guys, to see Jasmine with her drawn on eyebrows. All right, guys, I just wanted to share that little, uh, extra bonus story with those of you guys who stick around to the very end appreciate you guys so much thanks for watching see you soon